So we are all gathered here today to roast the fuck out of Hazel E's big pickle nosed ass, okay? Um, so for all of you who are new here, thank you for coming. For all of you who are not knowing what's going on right now, Hazel E is a rapper, model, mess from Love and Hip Hop Hollywood. And Hazel decided that she wanted to go on this rant about how all of these girls on the show hate her. Okay, fair enough. But then she decided to do two wrong moves. Insult the gay community and dark-skinned women of color. I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so. This season of Love and Hip Hop, Hazel has definitely been uh, the, the the most generic version of Miss Nikki Baby that I personally have ever seen. Like, I know she's your friend, but you're not her girl, okay? You, you might want to stretch when you, you know, you try to reach that far in life, girl, okay? You got to get this right before you can try to do that. Nikki may be plastic, but her plastic works for her. You're still that girl. You still look like a thumb, a big toe, you. So... She decided that she wanted to have this all this opinion about all of these girls. Her boyfriend, Rose Burgundy, okay, the name, it, oh, who, her name is Hazel E, okay, Erica. So anyway, she decided because some guy came out, this all started, let me just go back. This all started because the comedian, Just Hilarious, decided to clown the entire, she does this all the time, the entire, uh, cast of Love and Hip. She does it with every freaking franchise, and it's not the first time she's winning Hazel, so I don't understand what the fuck the issue was with today, but okay. So, she goes off on this rant, and Hazel's boyfriend, ex-lover, I'm assuming, or current lover, I don't know what's going on, decided to put him out there saying that he's only with Hazel because of the show and what she's gonna give him, and once he gets what he wants out of this situation, then pretty much she's out. He not he ain't messing with her no more. So I'm like, okay, so you just using her. Okay, cool. But then he went a step further to put a burning, I'll put it right there, a burning gay flag and to pretty much prove how much of a straight man he was. Cause I mean, if you put a uh, dude, you did more damage than help. I hope you know, little boy. So then she decides she wants to go ahead and comment, and I'll put that as well, that says they all should burn in hell like it says in the Bible. I'm like, oh God, oh girl. Like at first I thought it was funny, and then I'm just kind of like, oh, okay, because I know that her hairstylist, her ex hairstylist now, used to be a trans girl. And I think they were pretty new with one another. Um, and you know, Hazel's hair always looked like garbage girl. She always looked like she just, she got the wig, shook it out, Fuck, sometimes she didn't even shake the shit. You just put it on and then let it go. I mean, just saying. She has the worst style in the entire season, okay? And that's including the kids. So, I'm like, really? Okay. So, then she goes ahead a step further and decides that she wants to talk about how she put a picture of Just Hilarious, Brooke Valentine, um, Shonda from Love & Hip Hop, that uh, Willie's wife, and it was one more person, but I don't recall who it was. I think it was Moniece. And she decided to say, my mother told me that in my life that dark-skinned girls are going to hate me because I'm light-skinned. And you bitches are mad because y'all can't pass the brown paper bag test. Now, let me tell you something. I don't know what's gotten into Hazel. I don't know how much snorting she's done in this last 12 months. But she got the game so fucked up, it's not even funny. I'm not going to even get into the gay stuff right now. I'm going to go straight into the dark skin stuff. Hazel E, Erica, I hope you understand that no matter how light your skin is, girl, you still look like a baboon. I hope you understand no matter how light your skin is, you still purchased your boyfriend. I hope you know that no matter how light your skin is, Brooke, Moniz, Shonda, Lupita, Viola, Whoopi, Bernie Mac, 
all still look better than you, bitch. So if your mother told you as an individual that you would be the best bitch on the world because of the color of your skin, that didn't work, okay? I hope she lied to you. And if you're gonna be mad at anybody, you should have put a poster of her ugly ass up there to let that bitch know she failed you as a mother. You are one of the most unattractive women I've ever seen in my fucking life. Not just because motherfucking your whole pickle nose, but the fact that your attitude is bad. You have surgery after surgery after surgery after surgery, and you're still ugly. All this money couldn't buy you any class. None of it. You want to be jet setting all the way. Let me let me explain something to y'all. I know a lot of people who know Hazel, and I remember when Hazel used to live with Tierra. Not before, not not during Love and Hip Hop. Before Love and Hip Hop, she lived in a cot on her couch, had nothing, and her only claim to fame was she was a publicist. Well, let's be honest here. Hazel used to fuck all of her clients to try to get some clout and get somewhere, and it didn't work. She's always been the ugly girl. She's always been the I smash, but don't tell nobody, girl. She's always been the bitch with the big nose. So, you and your snout need to figure something out. Because the problem that I have with girls like Hazel is that you're attacking other people because of what one person said. So, she, her excuse was, well, I feel attacked and someone said this, so that's why I said what I said. No, if I don't give a fuck, if there's a woman of color that's coming at me, that that bitch is getting it. So Cassandra's about to get it. But Ashley, Tiffany, Amber, Monique, none of them did shit to me. So therefore, I'm not going to just say, well, fuck all you bitches. Because what I could say is, I tell you about fake ass bitches in LA, like bitches like Hazel E, who don't have no fucking talent and will fuck their way to no fucking wear. And now she's unemployed with a grown ass child. And her wigs still look a mess. Bitch, did you see our interview with TMZ? What are your roots? Pick a struggle, bitch. Either you're going to be ugly, destitute, broke, can't rap, bad wigs, but you can't be all of them, okay? Because that's the problem. So pick which one you're going to pick a struggle, bitch, because for you to sit back and talk all this shit and have nothing to stand on, you were fired from loving hip-hop, okay? And apparently that came before when you actually exited uh, the day of the reunion, you got fired because you so busy trying to go hard with you and Mr. Burgundy. Meanwhile, he got a mouth full of dick. His whole breath smell like dick. Booty hole. And you going so hard. Then you're going to DM the dude he was talking to, talking about leave him alone. Because, girl, you're damn near 40, okay? If you're not 40 already. I don't give a fuck what her Wikipedia say, bitch. I know the real. Erica is damn near 40. So... Hazel's issue is that she believes that money fixes everything. Money couldn't fix your nose, your teeth, your attitude, that skin, that wig, that outfit, or that body. You got more of a botched body than I've ever seen in my motherfucking life, bitch. You are the wrong example of what a bad... You are You are actually the, in, the epitome of a bad bitch. And every negative connotation that there is, you can't dress... You can't rap. You can't sing. Bitch, you can't even fight. You Masika was about to motherfucking drag. You lucky security was there. You lucky because Masika would have dragged your motherfucking ass for everything. And maybe you should have stitched your wig, bitch. And then on top of that, so... Because you ain't going to come from my... You, what you ain't going to do is come from my dark-skinned girls. That's what you ain't going to do. Because there's a lot of dark-skinned girls who are out there rooting for your old sad ass, too. And now, look... So then she talking about them ugly ass gladiator sandals that she had with Shoe Dazzle. Well, Shoe Dazzle decided to let them know. And let me read y'all their quote because I don't want to get my words missed. Hold on, let me get my phone. So Shoe Dazzle said on Twitter, and I quote, We are aware of the recent social media posts and I thank and thank our friends for bringing it to our attention. At Shoe Dazzle, we believe in love and equality for all and have removed all content associated. Hashtag love is love. So, remember that million dollar shoe dazzle dude she was talking about, Gray? It was one pair of fucking gladiator sanders in three motherfucking colors, bitch. And you know how shoe dazzle work, girl. If you get it for one month, you can probably get about th all three of them within a two month period. So, girl, I don't know what. Nobody, a million dollars, bitch, please. They're, they're, uh, oh, she said a billion dollars. They're a billion dollar company, bitch. You got that much stake in it. And now you don't got anything, because now you're just. All your gladiators are about to be, you know, nice at Ross, okay? At Ross. TJ Maxx with it. And I'm a Maxinista, but not for her. So, you lost that deal. You were fired from loving hip-hop. Nobody gives a fuck about this, oh, 
thick nose girl ink shit. And then on top of that, you old as fuck trying to act like you really that bitch and you not. Miss Nikki has a place. We don't need motherfucking bum ass Hazel ass who is a cr credit card fraud. She, I mean, she, the, there's so much I can say about Hazel that I know personally. And it, just to see a girl who actually has potential to do something, not what she's trying to do. That's that's Hazel's issue. She wants to be the star so bad, but the only thing that you really honestly should do is be behind the scenes. Your face is made for radio. Your face is made for laying the fuck down. Your face is to get hit doggy style because nobody wants to look at you in the face. You were you you ran after a dude first season who didn't want you and told you and you still cried about it. You still mad at Masika because Berg is he's nowhere to be found. He is on the radio though. But he don't he don't care about this no more. You the only one that's still here. Your wig still look a mess. You still you still look a mess. You still delusional. You still 34 fucking years old and you keep fucking trying because you know you can't fucking rap. That's what you're doing. So for me, Hey Louise done. She's canceled. And to Miles, Sir Brock who wanted to defend his friend. Now, I get being loyal to your friend. I do. And you was like, well, she's not homophobic. She's not. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Because you, listen, I could be the maddest as I want to be. Okay? But when you're mad, you work off emotion. And emotion usually comes from something that you truly feel. So if you say something or you co-sign something because you're mad, that's how the fuck you feel. So I'm not going to go on a racist rant and say, well, I was only mad for that moment. I didn't mean anything that I said. No, I think before I speak because that's part of being a fucking adult. And that's what she get. That's why she ain't got shit. She, uh, I can't wait to see her ass on the bus. Oh, my God. I want to just be like, is that Hazel catching on the 150? Oh, girl. Yes, remember? Girl, I'm out here doing it. I'm Maserati. You are a rented queen. You ain't got shit. You ain't never gonna get shit. The dude that you with suck dick, and you mad about it. So, I don't know what to tell you, but quite frankly, Hazel E, you are the epitome of what girls dislike when they look at girls from L.A. You are the, 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 full epitome of just a coon. You're the epitome of just, like, why? Girls like Hazel, I would never kick it with. And I'm born and raised in LA. And I've, I've been to situations where I've seen this girl. I've spoken to her one time ever in fucking life. And then that was already, because you could tell she was so worried about who she was because she was on TV. And didn't nobody give a fuck. You're not that girl, girl. Nobody cares. And, Bur and, you know, you Rose Burgundy ain't gonna care, too, as soon as he find a fucking pocketbook with a dick attached to it that's bigger than yours, girl. He tired of sucking on your nose. So, as far as that goes, don't disrespect the any girls from your own community, you dumb hoe. And, on top of that, you want to talk about what well, it says in the Bible. Well, you should read them scriptures about being a fucking harlot, bitch. Because, I listen, the way that your ass been soiled... You, you should be stoned. So when I see you, bitch, heads up.